guys, welcome back to my channel. First of all, I am so sorry I've missed a couple of uploads. Um, I was sick for a while, but now I'm all better and I'm trying to juggle kind of getting back into my uploads with summer camp and vacation and everything. So I'm trying my hardest. Anyways, today I thought I would do a Q&A session with you, a little tea time. Just sit down, you know, and chat for a little bit with you. So I put a photo on Instagram, asked you guys to send me any questions that you have. And I'm going to answer them today. So let's get started. Peter Car Bunny asks, when looking back at your life, is there anything, be it minor or major, that you regret? For example, turning down an opportunity or something along those lines. I don't think I have any big regrets, but I do regret not taking um, Greek and Latin in high school. <laughs> it's, it's a silly thing, but... Yeah, I do regret that. Although I wasn't allowed to take Greek and Latin in high school because I didn't do well on my math test in elementary school. That's how the Dutch school system works. Rouge Imaginaire asks, what were your favorite children's books? Oh, um, I used to read a lot as a child. Harry Potter, of course. I grew up with Harry Potter. I have, I think I must have read all of those books, especially the earlier ones, at least eight or nine times all of them. There was a Czech series of books. It was called Rihla Shipi. I loved that. It was about a group of boys that would do stuff. Yeah, just... <laughs> if any of you have read that as well, let me know in the comments. Iridis Oculus asks, what's your favorite Disney movie? Um, Winnie the Pooh. <laughs> Winnie the Pooh is pretty much the only Disney movie I really grew up watching. I was raised on Czech children's television and Czech fairy tale movies. I haven't actually even seen many of the kind of classic Disney movies. I really, really liked Winnie the Pooh. Miri Piri asks, how do you deal with feeling anxious, for example, because of financial or social issues? I could make a whole video about this. I can make a movie about this. <laughs> but mostly what I do is I try to to um, fix it. Yeah, that sounds really kind of blunt and harsh maybe, but that's for me the only thing that helps when I'm in a situation that's making me anxious. I need to resolve it one way or another, um, either fix it or get out of the situation. While I'm working on that, just try to um, change my mindset and focus on everything that's going well and everything that makes me happy. So that helps kind of control those anxious feelings and free up more of your mind to focus on actually fixing the problem. White Witch 1900 asks, how is your hair doing these days? Very well, thank you. I've been frying it with heat every week since I started doing all my historical hairstyling things, but it's doing as good as ever, so yeah, it's fine. <laughs> Paper Wings asks, what do your parents think of YouTube as a career choice and did they always feel that way? Um, my parents are very supportive. I mean, nowadays it is kind of known that YouTube can be a job, so I feel like it's becoming more and more accepted. In the beginning, of course, they weren't sure that it was even possible to do this as a career, but that was back when it wasn't actually really possible to do this as a career. But I have kind of grown with the whole YouTube thing, so it all happened very organically and they've always been very supportive, so I'm happy about that. Lily Siv asks, in what kind of apartment or house do you wish to live in next? Um, I would like just just an apartment, a normal Dutch apartment. Two bedrooms maybe would be nice, but I'd, I'd be fine with just one. Jenna Lily asks, if you could live anywhere, where would it be? In Utrecht. <laughs> that is honestly my dream place to live. I would maybe like to move east just a touch into the kind of um, the hills of Utrecht. Like it's called, it's not actually hills, I mean, it's still Netherlands, but yeah, I absolutely love that. And I would really like to move there in the future, perhaps. Um, so yeah, either Utrecht itself or just, just outside of Utrecht. Paige Cannon asks, what is your favorite Dutch food? Mine is stroopwafels. I'd probably say boerenkoolstampot. It is um, kale mashed with potatoes. And yeah, that's it pretty much. People eat it with um, sausage and gravy, but I'm obviously vegetarian. So I either have it just bare or with a vegetarian sausage and mustard. Amazing. I love that stuff. Faith Brammer asks, when did you get your first car slash license? I got my license in April and I think I will get my first car in five or ten years. 
No, really, in the Netherlands, you don't really need a car generally, especially when you're young, don't have children, live in the center of a city, you do not need a car at all. I can get anywhere with my bike and public transport, so I'm completely fine without one for now. Aline Cat asks, can you tell us about some of your strengths and weaknesses personality-wise and how they tie in with being a blogger slash YouTuber? So I think a weakness of mine is um, I am very, very shy, very shy and uh, quite an anxious person. So I have trouble often in social situations. I noticed that many, many YouTubers experience this. I think it makes perfect sense because being a YouTuber is the perfect way in which you can, you know, work, um, put yourself out there, but take away all the scary bits. Yeah, it's kind of like having social interaction without all the stuff that can go wrong. <laughs> and then one of my strengths, I think, is creativity, which I can also pour a lot of into my YouTube videos. So yeah, I think YouTube is a good job for me. Oakwald Forest asks, if you could change your hair and eye color, what would you change it to? I would like my hair a couple of shades darker and my eyes blue. That look is my absolute favorite. I absolutely love that. I adore when people have that. I, I will often notice a person just randomly and be like, hmm, they're interesting. And then later on realize that they have dark hair and blue eyes. There's just something about that that really captivates me. And I would absolutely love to have that. Jenna Howie asks, would you ever consider cutting your hair short? No. Um, although I know you should never say never. I can't speak for future me, but up until today, I have never ever in my life had the desire to cut my hair short. And I doubt that I will anytime in the future. Okay, last one, Thistel. Thistel asks, what is your ideal holiday? A week in Ireland? And do you still sometimes read Gaelic texts? Um, a week in Ireland sounds really nice. <laughs> I don't know if it's my ideal holiday. Could be, it could be, it depends on the activities I choose for myself to do. I haven't read anything Irish. Um, I only know Old Irish, by the way, not Gaelic. But yeah, um, no, haven't read anything since I graduated. I really wanted to. But in the pile of all the things I really need to make more time for, this one just, you know, doesn't get much priority. So sadly, I haven't. <laughs> so that's going to be the last question I answered today, guys. I really hope you enjoyed this little Q&A video. If you did, don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I want to thank you so much for watching and I will see you very soon in my next video. Bye!